five and phase six. Well, a phase six tease, but wow, what an embarrassment of riches. Part of me thinks that Kevin Feige wouldn't have talked about phase six if it hadn't been for those trademark leaks. What a place for leaks to come from. Is no place sacred? Even the people who work for the United States government are like, I got Marvel tea to the internet. <laughs> but that's exactly what happened. So he had to detail uh, these two new big Avengers movies. And I think also he wanted to give a date for Fantastic Four. But there's a lot of stuff he didn't give dates for. And he's got eight blank spots left here for D23. Oh, there's still more to come. Will he really fill in all those spots? Sure, why not? <laughs> but he has got so much other stuff from phase five still to tease. But there's a lot of burning questions people have about certain projects that they'd love to get a date for. So what's left? So, uh, you know, well, apparently this will go on forever. Hooray! But, uh, you know, right now, I think people would like to know when the X-Men movie will be or, or show, X-Men or the Mutants, as there's a rumor it might be called, X-Men. I mean, I know there are a lot of great female characters on the team, but they're the X-Men. It's called Mankind, right? I mean... I think it's fine. Uh, Deadpool! It was so amazing today, nobody even really cared or noticed that they didn't give a release date for Deadpool 3. Which, by the way, means that Deadpool 3 isn't coming out until 2024 or 2025. That's so far away. But we're going to be just fine. We're booked and busy. But look, that's how long the line is to get into the MCU right now. Even Deadpool can't cut. Deadpool should be, he's like, aren't I a VIP? I hope they cameo him up beforehand. I hope he pops up earlier. Another Spider-Man movie, right? I'm sure Tom Holland's like, we're just waiting on that contract, man. We're just waiting on that contract, baby. Pay me. Uh, he's earned it. Uh, Shang-Chi 2. We need a Shang-Chi 2 in here. Uh, Shang-Chi, of course, already set to show up on the Marvel Zombies animated show with Katie uh, and one of, uh, you know, the Death Dealer. Uh, but then also there's some TV projects because, you know, they're, they're putting TV and, and movies in the same lineups here because it's all the same story. But we still have, don't have a slot for Armor Wars, Wonder Man, Nova, uh, the Nova series, the Wakanda series, maybe Jessica Jones. And I know a lot of you want a Wanda project. Ah, oh, man. You see, I mean, Wanda before Deadpool? I mean, it's crowded. It's crowded. Maybe she should be in that Agatha Harkness series. Because <laughs> I don't, you know, just cut the line, Wanda. Get in there. Uh, and I'm sure Agatha would love the assist. But wow, so much stuff. What, what do you think is going to go in there? Uh, I think... Um, I think it's pretty crazy crowded. But right now, let's talk about the three movies that are on this list. Fantastic Four and two Avengers movies. Another one-two punch from Kevin Feige. And I, th I can already see what he's doing here, I think. And it's genius. It's genius. I think it's modeled very closely on Infinity War and uh, uh, Endgame. And who wouldn't? Because that was... The most, second most, like, yeah, the second most successful movie of all time. So that's a formula that works. But for, okay, but let's talk about Fantastic Four. There it is right there in the corner, kicking off phase six, November 8th, 2024. So for November release dates, uh, you know, Disney likes certain dates and they love, you know, they usually put a, a Marvel movie at the beginning of November and then they put a Disney animated movie for Thanksgiving. And then they put either Avatar or Star Wars for Christmas. And they just have that locked down. And no other studio can get in there. It's hilarious. I don't know how they let that happen. Like the, Kevin Feige and, and Disney overall are using the release uh, schedule like a, like a chessboard. It's it's crazy. They have it. As I said, they have it locked down. So uh, this is supposed to be. This is an Avatar year. So 2024 is an Avatar year. But you know, James Cameron's like, I don't know if they're gonna let me make Avatar three and four. Let's see. Uh, uh, no, he's definitely making. Yeah, he's definitely making two and three. Four and five are the ones he's not sure about. And by the way. Black Panther seems Black Panther 2 has its own blue underwater people. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Avatar. I think that's fascinating. Although every time I see the Avatar trailer in IMAX for Avatar 2, I'm like, you know what? That does look pretty good. It looks pretty interesting. All right. So anyway, Fantastic Four, uh, end of the, uh, you know, kick off the holiday season basically in 2024, play through Thanksgiving and Christmas, hopefully. Uh, I believe, as I said in my phase five video, that they're going to probably tease them at the end of Quantumania. Again, I know how Quantumania ends. And my guess, my very educated guess, is that the Fantastic Four might be an end credit scene there. Uh, and I think at D23, as, long, as, as well as maybe filling in some of these uh, spots, I think we'll definitely get a director for Fantastic Four, and maybe even some of the casting if they're going to film that end credit scene for, for, for this February, this coming February. Oh, uh, well, it's actually kind of far away, but we're moving fast. We're moving fast. All right, then, 
You wanted a plan for the, for the MCU? You got a plan. Obviously, Kang is the new Thanos. And the multiverse saga is phase spanning. I guess that works. Thanos kind of spanned phases one through three, although he didn't really kick into high gear until like, I think towards the end there. But I mean, that's kind of what's happening here too. But I guess that's what, you know, Kevin Feige's trying to make the point of. He's like, it's all gonna come together. And this time it's all about Kang. What a great opportunity for Jonathan Majors. And he doesn't even have to do motion capture. It's, he's actually there. It's him, it's him uh, playing the role. Uh, Cause you know, I don't think that Josh Brolin gets the same credit that I think Jonathan Majors is gonna get. But it's very exciting. I love Jonathan Majors, big fan. I was I jumped on that train first when I saw him in uh, Hostiles. I was like, that guy's going places. And he really has, he's gone to Marvel space. All right, so anyway, uh, these two Avengers movies, uh, two-parter, back-to-back, Avengers the Kang Dynasty kicks off summer 2025. And then for the holiday season, You've got Avengers Secret Wars and the November date, early November date for 2025. I wonder, you know, Taika Waititi, I think he should go make Thor Thor 5. And I, I think, you know, he's supposed to do a Star Wars movie, which is supposed to come out in December of 2025. I'd give Secret Wars the whole holiday season, you know, and whatever Disney animation wants to throw in for Thanksgiving. I'd be like, I just want... Secret Wars to play the whole time. That's, I mean, I'll, although I don't know if Disney will, will allow that to happen because another studio will go, they left it open, just wimp, you know, to slide in there. And then Disney will be like, why do we allow that? So we'll see, we'll see what they end up putting there. But you know, Star Wars is like not a well-oiled machine right now. So I don't even know if they're gonna have a movie ready at this point. All right, so let's, you know, look at, I mean, 2025, I can't believe I'm like, you gotta start working on that now. All right, so what, how do I think this is like Infinity War and Endgame besides being a two-parter Avengers story. Well, I believe they're gonna have another perfect cliffhanger ending at the end of the Kang Dynasty. I think that instead of the blip, they're gonna transport everybody to Battle World. They're gonna show up on Battle World. We'll probably set up a few key fights where they come across a, a new character or like, or an old favorite like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine or Deadpool. And they're like, all right, time to fight. And they're like, what? And maybe you see like Hugh Jackman pop his claws and then they fade to black and they say, see you in November. And you're like, hot damn you will. That's what I would think they were gonna do. And I think it's clear based on how they're setting it up and with Kang being so integral, because you know, the 2015 Secret Wars was a lot about um, Doom. Uh, but you know, and Doom's coming too. Doom is coming too, baby. But and maybe it'll be a, a Kang and Doom uh, team up, tag team. But I, you know, Kang was very heavily featured in the original 1984, 1985. It was a, that's how long Secret Wars originally ran in that run. So I think Feige's gonna smoosh them together, and that's what those two movies are gonna be. Because you know, Battle World is too good to pass up. Battle World, I mean, it just sells merch right there. And I told you, I think that's gonna be the new blip. And I really respect Kevin Feige for saying, I need a new blip. I mean, we'll see if that's true, but I think that's what he did. I think he's like, man, everybody loved the blip. How am I gonna match that? And I think he might have just done it. All right, so how does phase six sound to you? And again, what projects are you hoping to see uh, be behind these doors at D23? Do you think he'll reveal the whole, fa- I think he will re- reveal the whole phase six. How can he not? And I think he needs to distract us from how bad some of the recent things have been. All right, so share your thoughts down below. Um, the uh, Black Panther trailer breakdown is coming, uh, but share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today so you don't miss anything. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos, including all my Comic-Con coverage right now.